This is Genesis, the first chapter in easily the most important book in British motoring history. It came along in 1962, and apart from the CND rear lights, it was nothing special. It wasn't revolutionary like the Mini, it was just an ordinary family saloon. Ford therefore decided that to put it on the map, they'd mount an assault on the world's racetracks, which meant creating a high-performance version, the world's first ever fast Ford. And this is what they came up with. Doesn't get much better than this. Cadwell Park, sunny day. Mark One Lotus Cortina. This thing is a riot. It had a revolutionary twin cam 1.6 litre engine, which sounds like a murder of mad bees. like hell, all the way to 8,000 RPM and produced 105 horsepower. <laughs> oh, wow! The result was some spectacular performance. The road cars would do 108 miles an hour and in race trips, shot up to 145. That was the stuff from spaceships back then. And best of all, if you were really on it, it would lift the front wheel in the corners. On the downside, it didn't stop properly. And there was very little grip. So it was an oversteer mentalist. 